Hi everyone, number one Marmaduke fan here. I saw Avengers Endgame tonight and I might regret this tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm getting up early for a Bible study and I still have to finish it tonight, but I've been thinking about Avengers Endgame the whole drive home, which usually is a sign that if, if I don't talk about it, I'm gonna end up being up at 3 a.m. thinking, uh, I'm pretty much rehearsing this video over and over again in my head. So, for, so that I can sleep tonight, here are my thoughts on Avengers Endgame. I, I sketched this real quick, by the way, waiting for the movie to start. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is spoiler-free review first, and then kind of like semi-spoilers of like, where I'll talk about scenes and things that annoyed me and what I liked about it, and talk about the plot generally, and then a super-duper spoiler at warning at the end before I talk about like major things you probably won't want spoiled. So, spoiler-free review. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Three-hour movie. I don't think I was bored at any point during the whole movie. Wraps up. I haven't seen all the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, but I think it wraps it up nicely. Kind of. It actually made me think a lot about the these Marvel Cinematic Universe movies and the ones I've seen. And uh, it it's not only a good movie; it's also a good ending and makes me kind of happier about the Marvel Cinematic movies as a whole. Looking back on them, I think I actually think Iron Man is the only one I saw in theaters for sure. I might have seen Incredible Hulk in theaters. I don't remember, but. Uh, it, if it was just Iron Man and Avengers Endgame, man, that, those are two great book bookends for a series. And then whatever's in the middle that, you know, like dumb ones you can throw out if you want. But uh, it, it was that good that uh, I feel like it's a capstone that actually kind of makes the argument that, yes, these are actually good movies. They aren't just dumb popcorn entertainment, although there is a, there's a little bit of that, too. OK, so. If you are worried about some things, uh, I think you will enjoy yourself. I think you will feel satisfied with this movie. Uh, you probably shouldn't see it if you haven't seen a good chunk of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies because there are a lot of characters. Uh, I think it did a better job of handling all the characters than Infinity War, and I recommend it. Two minutes, that's enough for our spoiler-free review. Okay, now it's time for a uh, semi-spoiler review where I'm actually going to talk about some scenes. All right, so I, I have some notes. Oh, so Iron Man. I saw Iron Man with my dad, and to me that was like... That's always, I've had this like complicated relationship with the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies where I, I cared about the comics. Like I grew up like reading Essentials book after Essentials book in black and white. So I've probably read like all of the X-Men's history, all of the Avengers history. And Sp Spider-Man, of course, was my introduction to Marvel characters, period. I, I loved Spider-Man. I loved Hulk. And so I kind of became interested in other Marvel characters, mainly because I loved Spider-Man and Hulk so much. But... Uh, you know, reading the Avengers comics, I started to get a connection to some of those other characters as well. And for me, like, going to see a Marvel movie is always like going to see Space Jam, where, you know, well, I, I'd say to my older brother when I was a kid, I want to watch Space Jam, it's got the Looney Tunes in it, and it's a great movie. And then my brother would say, yeah, but, you know, the Looney Tunes cartoons are better. I gotta do more videos about how cool my brother was. He pretty much taught me how to didn't notice the difference between what's cool and what's not cool in media. But anyway, so yeah, so for me, like the Marvel Cinematic movies have always been like Space Jam in that because I actually care about the Marvel characters, it's kind of fun to see them on a big screen in a big dopey adventure, but I've never taken them that seriously. But I've always really respected Iron Man, and I feel like they're uh, bringing to a close this universe and kind of like all the themes that have been built up across all these movies, so... That's why I say you should go see it if you've been kind of like hol holding yourself back and you've been worried about a few things, uh, you should go see it. Okay, now Captain Marvel's kind of the elephant in the room. Are you afraid to go see Avengers Endgame because of Captain Marvel? So here's where one of the annoying things c comes in. I didn't see Captain Marvel. Uh, I feel like so much arguing about movies on the internet, like if you don't think you want to see it, don't pay the money to see it and you will feel happier. Like I am just so happy. I didn't pay money to see Captain Marvel. Like, maybe one day it'll be on Netflix while I'm washing dishes, and I'll half-wash Captain Marvel, and then I'll pull that money out of my wallet and say, man, I'm so glad I have this $20, and I didn't, 